Hi, it's Marcos from Windbuster. Today I want to show you another way to run Android apps on your PC, this time using the Bluestacks App Player. So what's the Bluestacks App Player? The Bluestacks App Player is a virtual machine adapted for Windows or Mac OS. So basically it's modified to integrate nicely with Windows or Mac OS X. And the good thing about it is that it nearly runs all Android apps. Here you have the support rate of Android apps. They say 96% and 86% for games, which is pretty high. There are some other uh, similar solutions which have less compatibility and also less features as you can see in their uh, comparison chart. Okay, let's have a look how to install it. I just downloaded it already. Uh, you can get it from their page. Here is the button. Installation is, is, is not a very lengthy process. I will do a fast forward a bit. So you hear with the welcome screen. So here you select a folder and then you should leave this unchanged and click install. Let's uh, do a quick forward. It's initializing. You need to agree to location services. So that's how it looks like. What you see here is basically a simple dashboard with a lot of tiles. On top you see recently played. These are apps you have recently used. You have a button that shows you the app overview. So that's basically all that is installed, nearly nothing. You have the camera app, the browser, uh, Twitter, photos app, and then fake GPS, which is a nice tool where you can put your, your location and this will be sent to any app. And the settings. On the lower end you see the buttons. Here the button to go back. In the middle you have the home button. Here is the multitasking button. On the right side you have the virtual keyboard which you can also um, define a bit what, what it should do. This is nice for game, so if you want to zoom uh, or, or simulate a tilt of a device. Then you have the location button, so that's nice. When you click it, you can basically um, select the location where you, where you want to be. Let's put Paris. Okay, and you can go back and the location will be set automatically. Uh, you have a sharing button which is nice to share photos. It's, it's connected with, with social apps and so social networks. And the last button is a switching button between full screen and windowed mode where you can make everything a bit bigger. The resolution will be changed automatically. That's, that's really nice and doesn't work in, in other virtual machines with VMware for example. So when you want to install an app, you just click on search and then you put the name of the app you want to install. Angry Birds, for example, has not been installed. And here you, you also see the search play uh, button where you can directly access Google Play. So what will happen now when we press this the first time, you will uh, see a one-time setup for app stores to enable them because we have no Google account linked to anything right now uh, which is necessary. So that's what we quickly will do. We can choose an existing account. Let's log in. We agree to the terms and conditions and we're signing in. So. This, this screen is a bit tricky. You will be asked to enable App Sync, and for whatever reason, on, on, on some devices, this next button does not work. So, what you can do is just you use the tap button on your keyboard until you see that it's highlighted, and then you press enter. Uh, like that, you can overrun this little problem and sign in. Now, you can use Google Play Store from Bluestacks App Player. Let's search again for Angry Birds. Okay, Angry Birds, here it is. And 
you click install, accept and it installs directly onto your desktop computer. You can check it out. <laughs> okay, that's how it goes. Let's head back and have a look at the settings. The settings are pretty cool because they are also adapted for for the desktop experience. Apart from general stuff like language and location and, and sound, you have here the Manage Applications button. Here you can see basically uh, all the apps and choose if they should be shown in horizontal mode or in default mode. And you can delete them just with a mouse click. That's uh, pretty nice. And you have a button to import files. Okay, so that's the Bluestacks app player. I hope you enjoy it, you like it, and uh, have some fun with it. Hey, wait, one more thing. If you enjoyed this video, please click on subscribe and check out also our website. Thanks a lot.